Yes, indeed. Good afternoon. And how are you? Are you having a good Sunday? Is it sunny where you are? It is Father's Day. It's Granddad's Day. Um, Jimmy, our director, our director has now just realised that he's not phoned his dad. Uh, wrong time to do it, Jim. Busy show. So here we go. We are in for a corker this hour as well. Um, we are looking at Scarlet Rose is what look. Now, if you've never known what Scarlet Rose is, do not worry. Do not fear. OK, uh, we're going to explain everything throughout the course of the hour. I'm just here to give you numbers. That's all I'm going to do. And then we're going to go full on demo heavy this hour. Uh, 221051 is your item number. This is your easy mat multifunction plate is what we're looking at here. Now, there is a freedom price on this of £24 and 29 pence. But what does it do? I hear you cry. Well, this is the sort of mat that can give you cards that look a little bit like these. Precision every single time. No more of the mats and layers where you're wasting card underneath. That has now gone. Perfect angled butterflies every single time from scalloped edges to even your simple mats and layers. Okay, that is all the cards you're going to save. It's basically, think about it, you know when you have a good, this will all go in demonstration, do not worry, but the easiest way to describe this is, you know your mats and layers and you put a mat on top of a card, don't you? So you have two cards and you pop them together. What happens to all that underneath? Nothing. It's a lovely shot in my neck. But uh, it's just all waste cards. But now you haven't got a waste card, you spend a lot of money on that card itself. So now you can now save and make your cards go a lot further than you thought. I know, intriguing. But remember, look at the mat. You've got a small space here as well. Now you get uh, the hexagon, pentagon, pentagon, pentagon. Hexagon. Uh, you get the hexagon that's in there as well. Uh, so you get the hexagon, that fits in a small shape, but we've got other shapes on the show as well. So get your easy mat, you're gonna need one of these anyway. 221051, once you see the demonstrations, this will all make sense. Then, to go with this, you might want other shapes included. Now we've got this. Now, contents may vary for the sheer fact this is a mixed bag. There is four that possibly you might get, but you're only gonna get three of the four that I've got in front of me. Now, you could get the leaf, you could get the flower, uh, you could get the poppy that's in there, or you could get the double flower. Now, it's, the contents will vary, as I said, but it is gonna be one of these four you're getting, and you're gonna be getting any three of these four. Why didn't they just give us three? I don't know, but hey-ho. Uh, you're gonna get any of these. 10 pounds and 99 pence. These then fit perfectly into your mat. So now, the leaves, the flowers, the poppy, the double flower that you've got in there, rhinestones, whether you're drawing, dot to dots for the kids are always amazing with these as well. Uh, my little one has now found the wonderful world of dot to dot. This would be a perfect way of doing dot to dots as well. We've got other things on the show as well. It would be the perfect way to learn how to write their names as well with the letterboard. We'll get onto that later, do not fear. £10.99, 6226 uh, is your item number. The easiest way to say this is what you've got there, it's three for the price of two, is what you're getting, okay? I know there's four, please excuse me, I know there's four, you're gonna be getting any of these four, but any three that you get, maybe you get these three, you're only paying for two of them. That £10.99, you're only paying for the three. It could be any of these combinations I'm now giving you as well. You know what I mean. At 982626 is your item number for these. Right then, let's jump to the website. You'll find everything. Shop ahead on the web as well. Uh, we've got papers on the show. We've got your easy shims on the show. If you've never seen an easy shim before, bear with me. You're in for a treat. We've also got your personalised diamond trail. That was the one I was talking about, of how to learn to write your name. If you're learning to write your name and you've got little ones in your house, that is perfect. Don't just think about card making with this. Please don't think about card making. Think about the wider picture of this as well. We've also got your sticky sheets in there. Make your own glitter cards with these. Basically like a big roll of tape is what you get. An A4 sheet of tape and you can make your own glitter cards now as well. Uh, we've got brand new seven day savers on the show as well. Launched at eight o'clock this morning. Uh, glue dots, glue rolls. You can see I'm excited because I'm talking quicker and quicker because I have got so much to get in this hour. Right then, I'm not on my own this hour easy. Oh no, no, no. It's normally double trouble 
when these pair are in the studio. I've half the trouble down because our Barbara's still at home. I know she'll be watching though. <laughs> uh, we've got our Julie in the studio. Right, and Julie, my love, it is all yours. Tell me everything I need to know about this easy mat. Right, as you said, it's our first time back after this lockdown, so we're thrilled to be back. But what we decided to do is we'd bring back a back to basics show. So everything that we've got on, apart from the pad, which was new last time, it's all basics because there's lots of people who are joining the Chanda that haven't seen us before and then people have already bought from us. But if you like me, you've popped it on the shelf, you might not have used it yet. So it's going to be a bit of a, a refresh for you too. So, easy mat. This is where the company started. And like you, we like to do um, matting and layering, as Matt said. Matt, Matt. I don't know what I'm saying there. Double troubles off again. Now you say. Uh, say. Matting and layering. We like to do it because it gives us a nice little uh, contrast on our projects. However, as we said, you're sacrificing all this that's underneath or you haven't got time so you just stick it down, grit your teeth and forget that you've wasted it. Or you don't use that card for that best friend because it's not that much of a best friend anyway and I'll use the cheap stuff. With the easy mat, you'll be able to make your card go further. So what will happen is, if I bring that one up into shot there, this is what we normally do. We have our card and then we'll break into more to make those embellishments. But with the measuring system with the easy mat, you'll have enough to make a second card. So all the embellishments and the frames and the bookmark all came out of that original card that I showed you in the first place. All that was hidden underneath there, which you leave there because you can't be bothered and you haven't got the time to mess about cutting it out or gutting it. Now, we always say we hate that name, but gutting it. I'll show you the easy mat. What you will do, you can use it several ways. You've got your grid and you've got your guides. These are your diamond trails. We call them diamond trails because of your gems. These are your guides and patterns. This is your easy mat side. Now, pops a bit of black underneath, black card underneath for you to see, but I'll, I'll remove that in a moment. This is where you do all your measuring. As you'll see, the numbers run naught to seven and a half and naught to 11. And they're every half an inch. We've kept the board to half inch because that's how we normally buy our cards, five by five or five by seven cards still. But if you want to measure in centimetres or you've done it by eye, no matter, you can still use it, but you just use it slightly different. I'll show you the basic way first. Let's just get this card out the way now, now that you can see. Pop him back in there. So let's just say I wanted to cut a piece of paper down. I didn't want to get up off, off the desk and go to my cupboard and fetch uh, my cutting machine. Or you might be just starting, you haven't bought a cutting machine yet. You can use it this way, like a ruler, to measure out and cut your, your layers down. So as I said, you'll do them every half an inch. So you'll do six, five and a half, five, and so on. Let's say I just want to cut this down. Now, I'm going to use a mechanical pencil for this, or you can pierce through. The choice is up to you. So let's say we want to do five by five. Treat it as a ruler. Find the five, find the five. Bring it down, your fingers together, and mark the hole. And where those all holes meet, that's your measuring. And then what you'll do is just line them up like this. Line the dots up and cut it away. And by the time it's took you to leave your chair, and go and get your cutting machine out the other cupboard, you've already measured your layer. So that's just one way of using the easy mat for cutting and layering. I'll bring my picking, picking mat back in. Right, so you've got your layers and you've done them like that every half an inch. So now, to recover the middles, what you'll do, because as I said, you've done these ones every half an inch, you'll find any, any four holes, put them on the corners. That is just to line up. It's the coming in one that's doing your measuring for your perfect topper out the middle. So let's go one, in one, in one, diagonally. Now I've measured it. Do it again. Any four holes, doesn't matter. Line them up. In one, in one, in one, in one. Done. And this is how quick it is, and I am perfectly measuring out a topper to be able to use straight away in the middle. There you go, that's two. Now, how quick is this? I mean, you'd normally be fiddling about with your ruler and think, well, I'll take that bit and I'll take that bit and I'll just do another bit more and I'll just do a bit. And then you put it all back together and it's all wonky and you've had to recut it and your frames don't miss. It's perfect every time with this. So let's pop it back and I'll just show you where you go from here. 
and all you do, like we did before, you just line the holes up. And what you're doing, I mean, this is your wonky bit, this is where you'd slide, but now, because you've got your perfectly measured holes to line up to, you're now taking a perfect middle out. And again, obviously, you have more time than me, but this is what you do. And what you end up with is your perfect centre that you've taken out perfect. So let's go back to here and I'll just show you where we're at. So you will end up with your four frames and your four middles. Perfect every time. So if I bring some base cards in, and this will show you how much you get from this. I'll lay these out here like this. One, two, three, four. So what you can do, and the choice is really up to you how you put them back together, but let's put them back together how they would have been. Like that, like that, and like that. So you can just leave them as frames, or we can pop one of them back on again, and there's a topper, and there's enough to do embellishments around the side. Or we can split them up. Now we've gone on to two cards, and we've got embellishments again or let's pretend I've taken the middles out of these we can go on there and we've got extras or we can take them out and we've gone there and pop a frame and you can see where I'm going with this it's just like Russian dolls really out 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 I've got a board to show you this turn him around the right way there we go and as you can see from the board just these two pieces of card have created that was out of that was out of that, was out of that, and the same across the top. And as Matt showed you earlier, that, that multi-layered little sample, that was what this does. If you layered them all back together, you can see just exactly how many mats and layers that you've got within just these two pieces of card. I mean, card is expensive now. If you buy the good quality card, you want to make the most of it. So by using the mat and layering system, you will quickly recover perfect usable centers. You could quickly then stamp onto that drop it back onto your card. You haven't had to recut and redo your frames. So there's your frames. But it's not just that. You can use it for more. I mean, as we said, look at it like a ruler. So let's say we've got some um, base cards but haven't got any aperture cards. No fear. Pop them over your base cards, measure and mark out. And now you can create your own. Oh, nearly. Nearly went off the edge. <laughs> Come back. Now we've got our aperture cards saving money again out of what you've already got you haven't had to run out and buy some more uh, base cards so that's that also if you've got your um, 12 by 12s you might be a scrapbooker and not into scrapbooking uh, not card making sorry <laughs> you are into card making but you like your scrapbooks you don't want to waste to get to that little bird cage there you'd have to cut in or cut in and invariably you would have needed that so what you can do is pop that over the top, mark it out, take it out. So you're now using it as a ruler or a photograph. If you want to just cut Uncle Fred out and put Uncle Fred in a frame, you can cut him out. That's that. There's different ways of using this, as I said before. We've cut it on the half inch, but if you want to cut it on, let's say, something smaller like this, every quarter of an inch, so five, five and a quarter, five and a half, to get yourself, and I'll pop it, sorry, I'll pop that on the overhead, a slightly smaller frame, or you've done it by eye when you've only got a little tiny bit but you're wasting all that underneath use it differently again pop this down now you'll see that the holes don't match on every corner now because obviously I've cut it less than half an inch you can either slightly move diagonally bring those holes inside because they're just the ones that line up come in one that's doing your measuring or you can take a hole to that corner measure one a hole to that corner measure one there measure one and there measure one that's how you do the sizes that are less than half an inch but what about your bigger pieces we've got our 12 by 12s here now obviously that's bigger than our board so what you do with this one and i'll do that with a piercing tool you put your zero on the corner again run them across the top and bottom uh, top and down the side come in mark we'll say three on that and turn and do the same again on every corner coming three 
and turn and so on all the way round and then what you'll end up with is this and that's a big saving out your 12 by 12 cards if you're a scrapbooker you might have wanted to put a plain piece over the top of your photographs but you've sacrificed that underneath where now you can pop that on your second page and it just goes further and further so that's all your different sizes you can play around with your frames I've done it here on this one I came in three on that one two on that one and one on that one and then it looks like it's going in on this one I came in two and then I came in one and now it looks like I've got three layers for the sake of two pieces of paper so once you start playing with the easy match you'll see just how much you can uh, achieve with this and how much paper and card you'll be able to save and because it's quick you'll do it so that's our easy mat side that's our matting and layering so as you'll see on this side it's double sided these are our diamond trails and you can see we've got a butterfly an oval a heart your hexagon your wavy line and your scallop and how these work you can either pierce or mark through and it gives you a guide for all your gems and pearls we've got lots of gems and pearls that are sort of hanging around we don't know what to do with them four corners of your card or in the middle of a flower whoop de woo that's it you can buy pre-made gems already in lovely shapes but you know they tend to be a little bit on the expensive side and once you've used them that's it you're done whereas with your guides you've got them every time so if i just quickly show you how you would work that if we put a heart over this little topper and remember you'll have cut yourself a perfect topper out of your frames we'll pop the heart in there i'm going to pierce because it's easier for you to see on screen but you can use fine liners and you can use your mechanical pencil and what you do all the way around and there we go that's where we start so you might want to leave that and have it like if i can get that into screenshot there we go you can see we can do like a faux carty type pattern okay or we can start stitching through i mean i'm no stitcher but i just did a little plain chain stitch there or as we said with the children if you use fine liners they can use fine liners so they start to start crafting with you and of course you've used your, your easy mat to take the aperture out use these as frames and then here's your embellishments all out of those two pieces of card so let's go back to our little pierced section and what you'll do is you'll start popping your gems over the top now you might choose to do each hole hole in a space butt them together if they're larger gems and I've got a board that will show you that but you get the gist of what I'm doing here you just follow your design I mean because they're clear you can move them around I mean you could have moved that again there and made a petal and moved that again there and made a petal I've used them as wings behind uh, like perhaps a doll stamp and then put wings behind so then it's a fairy so look past what it is I mean you'll just use so much I'll bring my board in because that will you'll be able to see it better I'll bring it to the side of me because I tried to do it upside down and back to front earlier on and I was all over the place as you can see here it just depends what size and what gem you use so here for instance it was every hole with a small pearl I've moved on to a slightly bigger gem so they sit side by side again just using it as a guide here I've mixed the gems up big at the, big at the top small at the bottom mixed it in with pearls and gems drop down to, it doesn't have to be a round gem I mean that's stars they are guides they're just something for you to follow slightly larger now this one this was just one heart and then I filled the heart and then went on to the outside I mean you could really bring that right out and out and out and out again larger let's go down to brads and pearls candy dots peel offs and finally a little bit more stitching but I mean you've got your pearl paints I mean they are guides so it's up to you what you pop on that guide that's what they're there for they're for you to move around your cards you can extend them you can make them shorter really the sky's the limit when you start creating yourself really and using up all these little bits that you've got hanging about if i bring a couple of samples in i mean i showed you this as a measure inside but i'll bring it onto the overhead to show you but this is one big diamond chain uh, diamond trial if you like because look if you turn the board sideways like that you create like a cushioned effect you can do chevrons you can go round your frames that you've made on your easy mat line up your holes and you've got perfectly spaced now to put your gems round because I don't know about you I wouldn't be able to do that by eye measure side to side 
and cut slots out. If I put it over the top, you'll see. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then you can put your ribbon all the way through. So now you've made your ribbon slots for on the sides of your cards and on your borders. And I'll finally bring a few of these in for you to see. And I'll put these onto the overhead because it's easier for, for me, basically. <laughs> so here we go. I've used my easy mat. There's all my embellishments, what was hiding underneath. There's my scallopy border. There's my butterflies. I've done the same again here. There's my border. I could have built that up. I could have come in. I've used it as a guide. There's another little plain one. Again, all from underneath. Again, all this was sitting underneath, which we've taken out. That complete fan was sitting underneath those two layers. Because I've been able to recover it out, I've used it and it's gone further. Here's another little uh, example of uh, using the fine liners and then I used a ruler to join them up and it looks like stitching. So you really will start to play and just following on from our wonderful lady that was on before with her colouring books, this is what we've done with this. It isn't her colouring book, it is another one, but you could use the same sort of technique with all anybody's colouring books. Make a bespoke card, you tend to colour them in and not do anything else with them. Well now you can just colour them in, slice them up, make them into frames, re remount them and you've got a bespoke card. So really and truly the way you play with this easy mat, it's more than what you first think. It's measuring, it's matting and layering, it's recovering, it's decorating. The sky's the limit. It really, really is. The sky is the limit. Now I totally, I know that is a lot of information to take in in a short amount of time. But the long and short of it is, you can now take the centers from your mats and layers and use that paper to make other embellishments. So not only do you use, not only basically that, that's what you'd start with. Then all this bit in the middle, what do you do with? You put glue on, you go over the top, but now you can make your mats and layers. So every single layer that you see in here can now be another mat. 24 pounds and 29 pence. You are making your card go further. 40% of the stock has now gone here. You've also got your embellishments down the side as well. 24 pounds and 29 pence. 221051 is your item number. Once again, please don't be put off for the amount of information you get. I know it was, there's a lot to take in, but it's simple. It's a simple and easy design. It just takes the center from your card and makes your card go further. And we all want that. We all want our card to go further. If you buy some beautiful cards, uh, there's some card coming up next with Mama Makes as well. Some stunning card on there, uh, one to look forward to. But that card you can now extend and you can make your card to go further. Remember we talked about the aperture at the top as well, the little hole that you've got in there. Obviously you get your little inserts, but we've got added excerpts, inserts as well. These are your extras now. This is more or less like a lucky dip. You are going to get any three of the four that you see here. In theory, it's buy two, get one for free. Okay? Buy two, get one for free. £10.99. 982626 is your item number. Brand new today. Um, once again, as he says, contents may vary. You are going to get three of those, and there are four designs. Um, you can't pick the designs. I'm making this sound more confusing than it actually is. Basically, you're going to get three of the four designs that are there. £10.99. 982626 is your item number. We've also been using the piercing mat that you saw under your Easy Punch as well. This is your piercing mat. 800 622 is your item number. Um, the easiest way to describe your piercing mat is like an oversized mouse mat. So now you can pierce through it without going into the board underneath. So you are going to get those perfect holes every single time. 11 and a half inches by 11 and a half inches. So if you are using a 12 by 12 paper, you know it's going to fit as well because you'll have that one and a half inch border around the edge. 800 622 is your item number. Now, moving on. Now this, oh, now this is a template. Uh, that you're going to need as well in your designs. Uh, if you like putting jewels and gems onto a card, this is the one from you. For the sheer fact, now, if you've got an unusual name, where do you normally go for your sentiments? Do you normally have to do it freehand? Do you normally have to do it by eye and just guess? You have to go in with separate dies and reel them all through. 
or do you just not get the cards? Do you just get them generic happy birthday cards? Well, for £18.99 today, 984841 is your item number. You're getting a full set of numbers and you're all getting a full set of alphabets as well. So now a full set of alphabet, not half of alphabet, we wouldn't do that to you. You're getting a full set of the alphabet, A to Z, zero to nine. Uh, so you can now do things like, um, obviously your baby cards, you've got that word baby, you've got your 50 on there as well. You can use your ovals from the, um, the board that we've just seen being used. Uh, your mum's cards as well. Uh, Rose. Maybe you can't find a rose die. You don't know what to do with your jewels and gems. You've got your rose in there as well. Emma, you know, our M. Uh, but then you can also do as well uh, with your pens. Now, don't just think, well, there's not a dog there. No, the dog's not been done with it. What's been done with it is the word wolf. You go in with your felt-tip pens and put a little dot where all the words are meant to be. You know they're going to line up because you've got the score lines down there as well. Not score lines, but you've got the ruler lines on there. This section just here also pops out. So now, remember that that pops out. You're getting that for £18.99 as well in with the bundle. But we can take that further we can get you more inserts as well. We've got more inserts on the show. Once again, this is one of those confusing bundles. There are four to choose from, but you're not choosing them, okay? You're not gonna choose them. You are gonna get three designs of the four. So you might get the leaves, you might get the hearts, you may get the tulip, oh. Tulips of Amsterdam or the building blocks. Remember, pierce through them, draw through them, dot through them, dot to dots if you want to use them as well. You've now got your hearts in there that you can use. You've now also got your hearts that you can draw through. So remember, these have been drawn through as well. You've also got, oh, they're all hearts. Uh, you've also got your hearts with the beads as well. Another heart. Uh, but the different shapes hearts that you've got in there but you have got four designs to choose from remember it's three for the price of two once again is what you're getting for these 14 pounds and 99 pence on these as well remember if you're a freedom member that'll be a delivered price to your door well worth sort of mixing and matching these bundles as well because they really all work together so these two really do go hand in hand as it were something else to go with your personalized as well these are your festive now these do come as a set of three i know shocking 14 pounds and 99 pence you're going to get all three of these designs so you've got things like the new home cards maybe someone's moving house it's never too early to start talking about Christmas in my eyes but you've got the little snowman in there as well a jolly little snowman you've also got in there the snowflakes as well the snow flurry the stars don't necessarily use them as snowflakes if you don't want to to either there's so many more things you can use them at uh, and then you've also got your little snowman again but that could also be a gingerbread house if you wanted it to be so it could be for a kid's car. Don't just, please don't think Christmas. Don't let the words Christmas put you off. Because um, nine times out of ten, if you see Christmas, that's the only image you're ever going to see are Christmas images. No, that could be a new moving house. It also looks like, um, oh, the beads that you iron. I can't remember what um, It will come to me during the demo, don't worry. Hammer, hammer beads. Thanks, lot. Uh, hammer beads. It, my little, my little one at the moment is really into our hammer beads and it's sort of these designs. It's got these little dots and then you iron over the top and it glues all the beads together. They're made of plastic, uh, but this is what they look like. So if you do do them, you could do amazing cards for children as well. Get the kids involved with these because they can't go wrong. They're wiped clean. 14 pounds, 99 pence, 347, 561 is your item number right then. We've had our first masterclass. We're going back for another masterclass shortly. Do not fear. I'm full of masterclasses today, mate. Loving them. Uh, uh, seven day savers. We've got some glue dots as well. If you're going to make your cards and you're taking out the middles, you're going to want to glue them down. You're going to want to dot them down. Or you're going to want to use your foam tape to make them 3D. Well, I can do that all for you for £19. And 99 pence. Five, six, five, three, eight, six is your item number. You've got a super roller holds up to 75 metres of double-sided tape, and it comes with a cartridge as well. I know, giving it away we are. 565, 386 is your item number. Not actually, it'd be 1999. Uh, up next then, magnetic sheets for your dies. If you've got those dies and you don't know what to do with them, uh, pop them on a magnetic sheet. You can always use these as fruit magnets if you wanted as well. Pop them on your back of your cards. Once you've took the centre out of them, you could pop them on here. Also, now, here's a question. Could we use the board on our magnetic shims to pierce holes and gut the, the centres out? 
Uh, Julie's not tried it, but no, we're going to have that. We'll give it a bash for her down in Bonnie Brum. Let me know. Yeah, my dear. I can't see why not. So save wasting the edge if you just want a little border for a magnet. For a magnet. I'm thinking you about could it. Use yeah, it. I bet you could. Yeah. You see? Always thinking, mate. Always on the ball. £11.99, 773, 674. That's for your silver uh, foil board. 300 GSM, 50 sheets in total. £11.99. Right, and Jules, what are you showing me this time? Well, we're doing the personalised board. As you said, there's some unusual names out there. Um, we were asked when we bought the Easy Mat out. Uh, what about doing uh, you know letters and numbers and we thought about it and thought yeah actually that's a good idea because up until then you can buy sheets of these already done and they're beautiful but once you've used your a's and your b's you've got wugger humped and muff left you know and there's not many people call that these days so by using these as a guide like i showed you on the easy mat you pierce or mark through you can make any number of names any numbers for anniversaries and birthdays so if you go through it you'll see you've got all your capital letters a to Z, you've got 0 to 9, you'll notice there's a little etched line, top and bottom, and that helps you line it up when you're marking through. There we go, that's a lovely shot there. So that goes across the top as you're spelling your word out, and that just keep, keeps you straight. Then on the other side, you've got a little scallop border again. You can move it, because you can see through, you can just keep piercing and creating longer borders. We've got what we say, hugs and kisses used as they are but you could use all the x's together all the zeros together and little diamonds in between you've got your carrier there which you can pop out and pop one of your other inserts in if you're buying those today or you can use it to draw through to give you a hand-drawn frame pop that back in we've got an oval we've got two flowers and we've got these like little flourishy things i mean you could pierce it all like that if you wish or you could just do top and bottom or you could just use these and move them along and move them along and make borders or into the corners so again like with all the other boards you start playing so if I just give you a quick show of how this works we'll take the black card out the way because I popped that in so that we could see I'll take that out and pop it there so pop your card or your topper underneath and let's decide what we're going to do then I did Bob this morning so who shall we have now cat I'm going to pierce again the choice is yours if you're confident, use your piercing tool. <laughs> if, like me, you make mistakes, use a marking pencil, uh, the mechanical pencil, because if you get it wrong, you can rub it out. So, we do A, like that, all the way around. Simple, and then we line up using the, Mark, where's my T? There we go. I've noticed I've put my etched line, top and bottom, to give me my measure. And there we go. We've got cat. So we can either leave it pierced or we can then pop over our gems like I showed you before on the hearts. Obviously, I've had to rush this with a spotlight in my eyes, but you'll be able to do it much easier at home. So this is where we start layering our gems, every hole, every other hole, larger gems, smaller gems, like I showed you on the previous demo. And we go like that. Or I will show you with a mechanical pencil. We just mark through the holes like that. And this gives you the option then if you've made a mistake and you didn't want to send the card to the cat, you want to send it to the dog. And this is why you use the mechanical ones. I think these are brilliant. No more, uh, <laughs> no more pencil sharpeners. And you can see exactly where you are to line it back up again. There we go, look. And finish it off. So now we've done our pencil one. If I've made a mistake, I can rub it out. Now the other thing, as we said, with children, get them in line, uh, get them involved with your fine liners, or something else I thought of doing. If we start with our fine liners like this, and we just mark it through. Remember, we said it's a guide. It's a guide for you to start from. You either leave it as it is, or you make it more. And I thought, well, if I get another pen, and then by eye, pop in there and go one in between, like I would have done with perhaps another pearl gem. And what we're doing is we're actually making it more solid, like that. So I've now actually made it quite solid there. And if I bring you a sample in, that will really show you what I mean. So that's really made that a very substantial solid word. But we've got other samples. That's just peel off gems. And that's really easy to just stick down. 
easy mat for the outside. All the embellishments have been taken from underneath. We've got another one there. Oh, love. Underneath. Every time you see one, every sample I do, I try to show you how all our products work. So with this one, as I said, I've bought in the easy mat. I've taken it out. I've die cut then the bit that was under the cream and I've embellished with my personalised board. Here's another one again. We've got 70. Again, I've die cut all this that was hiding underneath. I would have had to have gone another, got another piece of card to get it to match. And finally, we've got a best wishes. Again, easy mat. It's taken all this out. It's given me my embellishments and I've personalised it. So that's what our personalised board is. You see there is so much you can do when you have your personalised mat at home as well. Remember, £18.99, everything will be aligned. Everything will be straight and perfect every single time. And don't just think of the cards we said, mum, dad, brother. You can now start using these. You remember the old storybooks when they used to have those big elaborate letters at the start for once upon a time. So it was always the O. You could do that with this now and go round with those beautiful sparkles and shines. Because remember, once you've pierced that hole, pop a bit of glue in there and glitter. It hasn't got to be a jewel. It hasn't got to be a gem if you don't want to either. Okay? So really do think about this. Open the door with these, as it were. Yes, they're perfect for the job they were intended to do. But I always like to get my money, I also like to get my money's worth, as it were. Yeah, 18 pounds and 99 pence, and you're getting amazing value for money there. Don't get me wrong at all, because it's doing an amazing job. But don't just think of your jewels and your gems. Start thinking about your glues and your glitters. How about your quickie glue pens? You put a little dot in there and use your quickie glue pen, then sprinkle a bit of glitter on top. Think of your embossing powders. Start embossing through it because you've got that beautiful lettering. We're very busy across the board is what we are for this. And we're also very busy for the easy mat as well. Half the stock of the easy mat now has already gone. Remember, with your easy mat, it does what it says on the tin. It's an easy mat for taking out the centres of your cards. You know your mats and your layers that we all do now and then. What do you do with the middle of the card? You normally just put it under the next card, don't you? It makes your cards big, it makes your cards bulky. With this, it will take the centre out of all those cards. So now, you can really go to town. From there, you can make card upon card upon card out of one set of card. I've always wondered, if you took a 12 by 12, you take a 12 by 12, how many cards could you make in embellishments from a 12 by 12 pack? Think about it. Remember, you've got that border. From that border, you've also then got uh, all that paper that's on the inside as well. No more fussy cutting, because you can sort of put the holes in there and you're good to go. 24 pounds and 29 pence, 221051 is your item. And we've still got a lot to get through, but not much time to do it. So let's have a look at look this one. It went for a little photo shoot, 26 pounds and 99 pence for these as well. Uh, you might want uh, the piercing mat to go with it as well. 11 and a half by 11 and a half inches. Uh, remember, this just pops underneath, so you're not piercing straight onto your mat underneath. Uh, you're going to pierce into the piercing mat, and it is good to go and ready to use as well. Absolutely amazing. Oh, there's a cable there. Uh, absolutely amazing. I think that's camera three. Uh, so, <laughs> I may have just taken off air. I'm not too sure. It's there. Uh, right then, what are we looking at this time? Oh, the vintage chic. Now, this was the last time I worked um, with Scarlet Rose himself. We had this on the show. It was a brand new launch. I think Catherine had it in the morning. I had it in the afternoon. And it was very, very busy. Now, you're getting 20 double-sided sheets in this, okay? 240 GSM is what we're looking at here. But not only are we looking at 240 GSM, we're also now looking at elements. So these are more than papers. Look at the details that you've got in here, the different elements that you've got now. I'm not gonna flick through all 20 of these sheets because we'd be here all day and I've got a lot to crack through. But look at the detail. You've got cards for everyone in here. You really, really have every side as tells a story. Every side be lovely. In theory, this would be a lovely pack for a journal. 
If you're scrapbooking, this is perfect paper to use and fussy cut into. Uh, for the, it's liniment free, so it's not going to ruin your photos either. Look at that for a little baby. But then on the back, if you wanted to, you've got these beautiful, beautiful cards as well. There is so much that you can use this for. I could literally go through all it. Maybe it's easier if I do it this way. Uh, can you see the backs and the fronts? I don't know why I didn't think of this first. Uh, but you've got so much that's in here as well. Absolutely beautiful. And it also comes... Oh, there's more. Oh, yes. It comes with your Nicolina stamp sets as well. Now, we've been told, our Barbara's been on the phone, she's had words, she said, you're getting this for free. We never realised. You are getting, in theory, this for free for £29.98. This is nothing. You are paying nothing for this. You are getting these beautiful stamps for free. And then, you're also getting the heart insert as well. We, you, theory, you're paying for that one. You're getting this one for free, but you're paying for that one. But you know what I mean. You're getting a freebie in there. We all love a good freebie. So you're getting a set of stamps, you're getting the paper, and you're also getting the dies in there as well. Uh, with the stamps themselves, look at the stamps that you're getting. Oh, look at this. Now, you imagine doing that, a little pierced hole in there, a bit of, bit of glitter, you're good to go. Talking a bit of a glitter. I love a bit of sparkle. I'm like a magpie. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful is what it is. Right then, let's see these in action, shall we? Right, are you ready? Put your TVs on record, because I think she's going to go like a whippet. Oh, when she starts, she doesn't stop, does she? Doesn't even take a breath, bless her. Doesn't take a breath. Right then, Julie, go on. Go. And go. I managed to do the work of two here. <laughs> so, as Matt just showed you, he quickly flicked through. But the main part of this, hours are bound, it's for demos. Yours will come glued, so you just rip one off. Um, You've got a solid side, a darker side, and a softer side. Let's get that on screen for you. So you've got your muted side, and you've got your harder side. Again, I can just flick through there. It is quite quick, but they are layers upon layers. Our designer took... I mean, these aren't just, like, bog-standard off-the-website pictures. These have been designed by our designer, and it's layer upon layer. And anybody who knows about digital work, the amount of work that she's done in this is just amazing the sections that you can cut out but what we designed it for really is if you've got one of our pearly pages die sets we had them made landscape because pads generally are portrait so you'd have had to have done two panels and stuck them to your page but we wanted to design it so that if you've got our pearly pages which aren't on the show today but they are on the website you can cut that out straight in one pass either the straight page or your scallop page and I'll show you a sample of that because that will make more sense to you if I show you. We'll bring these onto the counter. So there we go. We just popped that through and it cut it out the right way up. There was no fiddling about cutting panels from a portrait pad. So there's one. There's another one again. Look, I've gone soft on that side, but it cut out all in the one. It saved time, in other words. We're not recutting it again. Because you know what we've said? Use what you've got and do it quickly and you'll use it better. See, and we've gone dark on the back. Again, I just popped it on the back of that one. Nothing special, nothing too much on there. But what a wonderful back to it. And then everything else came forward on the front. So that's what we bought it initially out for, was for the books. But, however, because it's all a card in one, if you're running late and you need to do a quick card, get it on your scoreboard, we're done. Pop a topper on that you've taken time to put in your stash from another day. Slip it on the top and there we go. We've got a beautiful card, quickly and easily done. Show you another one. And as I keep saying it, easy mat. I've taken the frame out. I've kept that bit for another day, but it showed the pattern underneath. I didn't just lose all that just to put that border in. I can still see what's underneath. And again, just use it as a half card. Fold, fold it in half. Put your die frames on. Now, this is from one of our butterfly sets, again, which has been on other shows and is on the website. Flip it open. You've got your soft focus in the middle. And there's your butterfly. But not only that. Oh, no. Use your front sheet. This front sheet is card two, so don't waste it. So what I've done is just look at that. Put all my little flower dies on it. Cut it out. When you pop it together, it just looks like a multicoloured flower. Put them onto tags. Let's pop these tags in here, as you can see. So now you've got your multicolored after something that you might have just thrown away. And then, not only that, the last little bit to show you, 
use your dies, make tags. So I've put a little die on there, look. And then I've made the tags to match the card or put on the presents. Don't even waste this bit. You can use everything. And that's our bad. You can use everything that you want to use. Everything that you've got there, really go to town and really, really think about what you're using as well. Uh, we've had some lovely emails this hour as well. Um, thank you to Anne. Thank you. Uh, that makes It makes no sense to the people in the gallery, Anne, but it makes perfect sense to me of what you're saying. Uh, I'll fill in with the story from last night as well when we come off air. Uh, but thank you for your emails as well. We've got some other items on the show and then we're going to go back to demo. We've got the sticky sheets. Basically, think of these. <coughs> oh, hello, I nearly choked. I'm not getting that. I'm getting excited. Uh, think of these as big A4 sticky sheets is what they are, but you can now make your own card with them. So you can now make your own glitter card if you wanted to with these. Um, I wonder, if, are they sticky on both sides? Oh, just sticky on the one side. So in, well, see, well, well, no, what I was thinking though, is you could stamp on the back. Yeah, you could. You could stamp on the back of them, take your dies to them, cut them out, peel off the sticky and use it as a self-adhesive label, like a label, yeah. if you wanted yeah. to as well. Yeah. Uh, don't just think as a sticky sheet to making um, glitter sheets. You haven't got to. Take your stamps, then cut that out, and then it's already stuck for you. You can then stick it anywhere you want. So those large stamps now, £15.99, uh, 623 and a three more numbers. Um, We've also got the easy shims as well. Make your die cutting easier now. It looks like four sponges you're about to get. It's not the most inspiring of pack shots. That's what we call what you're currently looking at at the moment. But what it can do for you is phenomenal. What it can do is turn those everyday dies that cut every now and then. It's hit and miss if it's going to run through your machine or not. With this, it will run through perfect every single day time. Right then, we're going to hand back. Do you think our Barbara's watching this? She better well, she <laughs> might have. It's Sunday, isn't it? What's the time? <laughs> Quarter to three. She might have nodded off. She might have well, been watching Ollie Oaks and now she might have done the conundrum on Countdown oh, with yeah. Des Lynham. <laughs> uh, we've got about nine minutes left. Right okay. then, what do you want to show me? Shall we do a quick easy shim? Uh, go on, and let's do I'll it. And I'll leave my sticky sheet stuff there because this literally just doesn't take a couple okay. of minutes. What, what is an easy shim? Easy shim. It's, it's a shim, but it's a fabric shim. Now, normally when we've got dies, we've got some that do cut and some that don't, and then we don't remember which ones do and which ones don't until we've done it, and then we bring it out and it hasn't cut and we're fuffing on the board and you bin, and you put a piece of paper on and it still doesn't cut, and then you put another piece and it still does Look how much time that's taking. So we wanted to find something that would help us cut our dies out without thinking, really. So. We come up with easy shim. I'll show you what happens first. I know we're against the clock, but this, this just really illustrates what happens. You send your die through. You think, oh, that's going to be a lovely die. Mm, I'll put that on the card. And then it comes out the other end, like this. And you think, oh, that's lovely. I'll stick that on there. Oh, ugh, it hasn't cut out. And now you can't line it back up again. I oh, know I can't. And you're double cut it because you've tried. And all this is taking time. You throw it in the bin and you can't be bothered. That's where you start getting your bits of paper and card. But with easy shim, you pop this in every time. I'll just show you before I demonstrate it. It comes like this. It's not wadding. Don't think it's like dressmaking wadding because that will shred. This took us a long time to find this particular type of fabric. It's got a chemical property that runs all the way through. You pop it through the larger one. You can see the smaller one there, the larger one. You pop that through between two plates, no paper or dye, send it through and it activates the chemical in it and it starts to go down. You can see on that first one, just on camera, perhaps not too well on the camera, but you can see one is thicker than the other. Just about, you can see thick and thin, yeah? And what it does, it starts to compress down. You can use it straight away, but eventually it'll end up like this. It's more like a fabric now. It doesn't get any worse than that. That's where it stays and we've used these how many shows have we done on, on Agenda? You know, it's still going. And what this does, it replaces those papers and cards. Let's pop it back on. Let's pop our die on. What I'll do is I'll pop it over the top of the die and then my plate. Now I'll send it through. And what that's doing, can you hear? And whether you can pick that up. You can hear the pressure. And what it's doing, it's moulding to the die and sending it through. And just bring it back the other way. And what that's done now, it's pushed them straight out, whereas before they were stuck in. Can you see? 
If you've uh, got a thicker card, I've just folded that into two. I did it into four this morning and it really did pop it straight out. So it depends on the thickness of your card, whereas you would have put a piece of paper, a piece of card and another piece of paper. You'll just use Easy Shim. Keep it with your machine. I don't even think about it. It's part of my sandwich and it works every time. Do, I, I, I said I wouldn't have questions in this, but oh, I've go got on. a question. Uh, how long do they last? Forever. Well, I, I'm saying forever. That's still, you see me come every month here for two years, still the same one. Okay. So, you know, and I'm using it all the time. I and know when that we go to the like NEC. How long do the piece of strings? But did yeah. it depend on how often you use it? Do you start cutting through it? No. When do you know when to get a new one? The or only way just... you'll cut through it is if you put your cutting die the wrong way up, which, yes, I have. And I've cut a beautiful easy shim out in the shape of a butterfly. Okay. But you put it on the back, so your cutting side is down on the card, easy shim on, on top, top, then your plate. And it's, it's because it's flexible, it's pushing, because all rollers are different, which is why you get some that cut and some that don't. This sort of moulds in with the roller as it goes through and pushes it even. Took us two years to find something to do so the this. The first time you put it through is normal, then as it, as, you, as it starts getting thinner, you just keep folding. You just, well, no, it just depends. It, once it's at the fabric stage, if you've got a very thick card, say you were cutting box board, you might want to do it into four, more pressure. OK. A thinner card or paper, you might only need one. Ah. So it just depends, you know what thicker or thinner, thinner card, card you're using. That's, That's all it know. is. It's good to know these little, these little things. No, if you don't ask, you don't get. You get a pack of four, so they're going to last you forever. They are, no. £11.98. Pence. Why, what else have you got to show me? Oh, quickly, how long have I got? You've got three and a half minutes. Oh, right. Sticky sheet. We say sheet, but actually it is card. And as Matt said, it's not sticky on the back, it's sticky on the front. It's card. So, yes, you could use it as labels, like he said. Do your die cutting on the front and your stamping on the front, cut it out. You can stick it to things. But what we tend to use it for is to stick things to it. So, if I just show you very quickly, because I am conscious that we're going to run out of time. Let's just say we've got odd bits of glitter everywhere and we don't know what to do with them. Again, another way of using up your scraps. Drop your glitter over the top. It's as simple as that. Rub it in. We're done. We've now got glitter card. You can make all your own bespoke glitter card. You can use your foils. Again, I am running against the clock here, but it's worth showing you. Foils you usually use liquid. If you wanted to do a whole sheet on the back of, say, one of our book pages or on a big card, you'd use a lot of liquid. Here, use this instead. Use your card. Embellish it. Pop it into the sticky side look. Pick them up. Rub it in. We're done. You can die cut, you can... Let's bring it into shop for you, sorry about that. You can die cut, you can punch, you can cut... I mean, anything that you can do with a normal card, you can do with sticky sheet. If I just show you some samples, quickly while we're running out of air time... You've got about two but minutes, you haven't got to rush. You've got two minutes. Oh, two minutes. Oh, I'll take my time then. And there we go. <laughs> that looks a little bit, and I always say, it looks a bit funky, and I wouldn't actually put that on a card like that but then run it through your dies. And now you've changed it into something better. If I put a darker card underneath, you might see it better. There we go. You'll see that a lot better. There we are. And that's quite a fine die, and yet it's cut it out beautifully. And then you just, like, pop it across your glue on the back of your hand and glue it onto your project. So that's glitter. There's our foils again, look. So you foil it first and die cut it or you could die cut it with the carrier sheet on and just use that bit and only foil the leaf if you didn't want to do a full sheet and there's another one there don't throw your wastes away because these are like a wax and what you can do then is use them as a mask so I that's an oval. I was just about to say, you, could you use them as a mask yeah. if you wanted so to? Yeah, so keep all of these. I mean, look at these intricate dies. That you, I mean, imagine that as a mask. All your snowflakes as masks. I mean, you can do anything with these. I mean, this is just the waste from one of our butterfly dies. I made a full sheet of glitter, and then I stuck the waste... Well, no, actually, what I did was I stuck the waste on first, and then I poured the glitter in between, and it gave me a lovely mosaic background with glitter in between. We've got bespoke glitter card. So if you, you haven't got the right glitter card, but you've got the right glitter, you can now make your own glitter card. We've got the frames there, look. Again, easy matted, but I've done my frames. I've actually done that snowflake in this, so that just shows you how fine it can be. Pages on your book. I mean, if you've got one of our books, you can do panels and do glitter pages on the background there as well. So really, it's, it's endless. 
I've got a couple of little samples if we're still running out of time. Well, we've got about 20 seconds oh, left. Oh, 20 seconds. Wrapping paper. Match the wrapping paper. Stick it to the card. You make the card and tag to match. Fabric. Stick your fabric to the card. Vellum. Acetate. Oh, sky's the limit. There is so much you can do. You've got your sticky sheets there as well, so do not fear. You're getting seven of your sticky sheets. Remember, you've got your mats as well. Check everything out at the website. Thank you ever so much uh, for the last hour. Uh, don't you go anywhere. There's so much more to shop for here on the wonderful world of a chance to start checking out your baskets. What a masterclass this hour.